Hi guys, Asaf here. I remember a time in my life where I used to have these weird business ideas. Some I tried to execute. Others stayed in the drawer or in the back of my mind. All failed. I should have known. Vegan Burger King. Kindergarten strip joint. Organic semen face cream. Lifeguard robots at public swimming pools. So now I do indie film reviews at 39 years old. <laughs> but it's all good. It's great even. F*** my life. Welcome everyone to my indie review vlog, sponsored by Angerman Distribution. I'm Asaf Angel from My Indie Productions, and today I'll be tackling the 2019 horror romance thriller, Her Name Was Krista, written, directed by, and starring US indie filmmaker and actor, James L. Edwards. Thank you, James, for sharing your film with us. Steven, portrayed by Edwards himself, is a kind middle-aged telemarketer whose happy smile hides some heart-aching loneliness behind it. At the counsel of Nick, a young exuberant co-worker played by Drew Fortier, Stephen goes out into the night to find a prostitute for some compassion and much-needed companionship. Stephen meets Krista, played by Cheyenne Day, an experienced street-smart call girl who agrees to give him the girlfriend experience and fulfill his needs, according to a set price list and rules to abide by. They are to meet a certain amount of hours per week at a set rate, doing normal couple stuff, with sex being optional and incurring a higher rate. Things take a horrible turn for the worse when something morbidly awful happens, revealing a larger, much more grim picture about the characters involved. Edwards throws us into a seemingly endearing journey depicting a friendly yet lonely man. He manages to connect us with Steven's character as he is shown as a truly harmless man just seeking happiness and pining for companionship. James layers much meaning and subtext which hides within what seems understandable at first glance. Steven's character is burdened with heavy baggage loosely addressed in the film, yet creates intrigue towards him as well as the whole plot. It feels the film aims to have us engaged with Steven's character as the whole plot is seen through his eyes. It is apparent that much attention went into character development of Steven's as well as all supporting characters. There is also a mildly painful reminder which projects from the subject matter dealing with loneliness. A reminder that shows us, the viewers, how disconcerting it may feel to find oneself single, over 40, and with a slim track record with regard to past relationships. An issue I had with the film had to do with the timing and fashion of tone shifts, which felt were a little off. At some point, the plot unfolds into something horrifying, and with good reason, considering what we know about the characters up to that stage. I felt the story would have worked a little better had that same plot point been revealed to have happened in hindsight, after we were being shown its aftermath progress throughout the film, rather it being introduced as a pivot point followed by its outcome. I can't really say more for fear of spoiling. Having said that, with her name was Krista, James manages to deliver an effective gut punch and deliver an eerie spin on the festering, debilitating effects of loneliness and loss. Production value was fairly decent for an indie film. Lighting by my indie featured artist Tim Novotny beautifully gave its own particular tone. Special effects by Alan Tusks and makeup by Taylor Cook and Elizabeth Hale were very professional. The soundtrack by Matthew Sturgeon was wonderfully composed in an 80s electronic style which gave the film its own unique feel. I can't imagine what my life would be like without you. And I don't want to. The performances were nicely executed, and it feels Edwards really managed quite an achievement with the slow burn film. Given the fact he was writer, director, and lead role, it is admirable and worth noting. Her name was Krista, scores an 8 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. The film is currently seeking distribution, so stay tuned for more news in the near future. Thank you again to Angerman Distribution for sponsoring our show and for footing the bill for the 12 dozen rose bouquets sent to my better hash. They were on sale.
If you'd like to catch up on our past reviews, you can find them all on our website, as well as our reviews and promos on our My Indie Review Vlog Vimeo channel, link included. Until next time, keep supporting indie film, watch, share, spread the word. My name is Asaf Angel. I thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog. I'll see you next Thursday. Honey, be sure not to grab the roses by the stem. I'd hate for you to hurt those beautiful soft hands. I need those. I mean, you need those.